this course will qualify you with the skills and knowledge you need to have to first pass the CEH version 10 exam and become certified. Secondly, to be able to work as a professional penetration tester or ethical hacker. Before going through the course content and uh, the course flow and what kind of knowledge you'll be getting in this course, let me first give you a brief about the main difference between version 10, which is the current version, and version 9, which is the previous version. There is two difference between version 9, CH version 9, and CH version 10. The first difference is that some new topics has been added. So for instance, vulnerability assessment has been added. And this is quite an, an important topic because usually it's related to penetration testing. We used to do pen vulnerability assessment before doing a penetration testing uh, uh, to identify the weakness and to check uh, their, uh, if they're valid or not and so on. But this will be explained more in the course outline. Uh, some other topic like IoT security, like cloud computing, other topic has been added to the course. But the second difference, I think, is the main difference between version 9 and version 10, which was adding a new practical exam. Now, for people who study this course before, CH version 9 or 8 or previous version, they knew that if you want to get certified, you just need to sit for an exam. It used to be a four-hour exam, 125 questions. And you need to get, it's a computer-based exam. You get multiply choice questions. You need to uh, get 70% to be able to pass the exam and get certified. This was the case before. And some people was looking for the exam practice question uh, online and try to study them and sit for the exam and passing the exam and get CH certified, which didn't reflect their real knowledge in penetration testing. So getting a certificate before didn't reflect that you really know how to work as an ethical hacker or a penetration tester. According to that, Easy Council did divide the exam to two different exams. We have the CEH, the computer-based exam, is still the same way. It's the exam code is uh, uh, 31250, same exam code. And it has 125 questions, four hours. You need to get 70% to pass all the questions on multiply choice. But also we have a CEH practical exam which will be uh, through an I classes. You will get an uh, uh, online connection. You will connect to a virtual lab. Then you will be requested to solve 20 scenarios. This is six hour uh, uh, exam. And you need to get 70%. It means you need to solve 14 scenarios from the 20 scenario to be able to get the certificate. So now to get certified CH, you need to pass the practical and the theoretical exam. And this is what I'm going to focus on, on on this course. This will be an interactive course. It will not be a course where you just watch a couple of videos and read a couple of paper and then go and sit for the exam. We will be communicating uh, frequently just to uh, follow up with your progress, especially the practical part, and see if you are ready to sit for the exam or not. I'm not worried about the concept and about the computer-based exam, uh, the, the, the theoretical exam, because most of my students have passed this exam. I, I, I cannot see any problem in this exam. But the ones that are going to take effort will be the practical exam. And I think this is good, actually, because if you need to work as a penetration testing, if you need to get skills, you need to practice as much practical exam as you can. So you will get a lab with this course where you can download the lab and practice all the attacks inside the course. And after the completion of the course, I will send you uh, a different lab, which will be a hard lab. It will not be an easy one. It will have different kind of systems. You're going to have a web server. You're going to have uh, a network uh, uh, for some uh, uh, scenarios. You're going to have uh, uh, some application affected with buffer overflow. Uh, you're going to have some secure uh, virtual machine. And I'm going to ask you to hack them. And we're going to see your skills. How good was it? 
as I told you, it will not be that easy, but I'm going to help you until you get the advanced ethical hacking skills. And you will not get such skills unless you practice and practice and practice. So we're going to focus, besides the theoretical part, on the practical part. So that's why, before starting the course, you need to consider that whatever attack I'm doing, you have to do it yourself. You have to analyze the attack. You have to understand why it was successful or why it was not successful. This is quite important, the analytical part. And I'm going to help you with that. Also, I would like to refer that we're going to have our own communication channel. All the enrolled students in this course uh, will be... Uh, we're going to have our own community, and later on I'm going to tell you how, where we're going to share different hacking tricks and tips that you can use inside the exam. Uh, realistically, how are we finding the weakness and vulnerability and zero-day exploit and utilize it? So there will be a closed community for only those students just to get you more familiar with the advanced hacking technique. I'm not now referring to the basics hack. I'm talking about the advanced attack. So once you finish the course and you start working on the practical scenarios that I'm going to send you, you parallel with that, we're going to have our uh, communication channel where I'm going to sub or provide you with the latest exploitation attacks, the latest zero-day exploits, uh, uh, different tips and tricks that you can use inside the exam. So my point is, I will not you sit for the exam unless I'm 100% comfortable that you're going to pass both of them, theoretical exam and practical exam. 